This is Dr. Sui So from the School of Primary and Allied Healthcare at Monash University in Melbourne, Australia. I'm speaking to you about my JBJS article, Minimal Clinically Important Changes in Who's and Who's 12 Scores Following Joint Replacement. The reason for doing this research was to help practitioners and researchers to interpret change scores for the Who's and Who's 12 instruments after joint replacement surgery. The Who's and Who's 12 are shortened 12-item versions of the longer Who's and Who's instruments focusing on joint-specific pain, function, and quality of life. Our earlier evaluations have shown that both instruments are valid and highly responsive to change, but to date, clinically meaningful thresholds to change have not been linked to the patient's experience after surgery. So it remains unclear whether changes in the Who's and Who's 12 reflect true and meaningful improvement from the patient's perspective. To do this, we used what was called an anchor-based approach to estimate the minimal clinically important change, or the MCIC, where the anchor was a report of the patient's judgment of change following surgery. This is in line with contemporary psychometric methods. Based on our models, which adjusted for the proportion of improved patients, an increase of at least 16 to 19 who's 12 points can be considered a clinically important improvement in hip outcomes, and an increase of at least 14 to 17 who's 12 points can be considered an important improvement in knee outcomes. We believe these thresholds can now be used by practitioners in several ways, including informing sample size calculations when planning for clinical trials, comparing the outcomes of two groups following surgery by looking at the proportion of patients in each group who report an improvement that exceeds the MCIC values, and examining group level improvements after replacement surgery over time. We have provided worked through practical examples in the supplementary material submitted to JBJS, so please have a look there for more information. Despite using three contemporary psychometric methods, there was some variation in the values we obtained, particularly when we compare the MCIC values for the CUS-12 with those derived from other studies. Now, some of these variations can be explained by differences in sample characteristics and contextual factors. But we believe what is more important is the need to have standardized anchors that can be used across all psychometric studies in orthopedics in the future. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy reading about our research in JBJS.